Hi YouTube, OC Dodd again, and uh, this video is even more rockers. Okay, if you've been following the videos that I've been doing on the, my 1.3 uh, ratio offset bush rockers, then um, you'll see that uh, we've been boring and bushing and various other bits and pieces. So these rockers are based on uh, used ones. As you can see, those tips where they contact the valves, this is what I typically have to... Uh, to deal with when the exchanges come back so uh, obviously that's not good enough to do a ship out to a customer so uh, we have to do some um, uh, refacing of the tips so what I'm going to do in this video really is just show you the process I uh, go through to um, optimize the rocker lift um, and obviously reface the end uh, what I'm not actually going to show you how to do is how to reface the end uh, because uh, for now that one's going to remain under wraps because that's obviously part of how I make these what they are um, but in terms of actually the inspection and the work that goes into it you'll see uh, how how that how um, that inspection is carried out and obviously how uh, much of an improvement it makes when the end is refaced Okay, so this is my rocker jig, and basically what we've got here is a, uh, an old 998 engine with a 1275 head on it, um, but uh, these are all old scrap components, but I'll put it here because this is actually my rocker jig, and it also doubles up as my camshaft jig when I'm measuring camshafts and designing profiles and all sorts of bits and pieces. But the rocker jig is basically used for uh, setting up rocker geometry or measuring and testing um, various rocker combinations or optimizing rockers for people and things like that uh, anyway so here's one of those eight that we had earlier and all I've done with it now is I've uh, put an adjuster in the end we're going to put it on the jig and then we're going to set it up and we're going to zero the dial gauge and let's see what it what it gives out of the box so we turn the engine round and you can see that one, make sure that zeroes, which it does. So if we count that, you will see that's 353 valve lift. All right. So actually the specification for these rockers is 356 to 359. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take that over to the, um, uh, the station uh, where I uh, re-end these. And then uh, I shall um, re-machine that tip. Um, and then we can uh, see the difference. Okay, so that's it refaced. You can see that uh, the wear's all gone. You can see there's still a curve on the tip. Let's see what it gives. Right, that says less. Just check the adjustment. I don't think that was right. Okay, so actually that one's come up at oh, 353. So it hasn't actually moved. So now what we need to do is we've refaced it. We now need to focus on increasing the lift a little bit more. Now, as you can see, that's now up to 357 and a half. All right, so what we have to do with all these rockers is we don't just make and machine them, each one has to be put on the jig, verified its lift, and then adjusted to make sure it meets the specification. So there's 100% inspection on all these rockers because every single one is checked and adjusted. Okay, so we've got rocker number two. Let's get that on the jig, Let's see where that one ends up. And the other reason for doing this video is you can see the variation on these rockers, even at this point in the manufacture. <laughs> Having said that, that one's 353, so that one's come up the same as the last one. So we'll go and modify that one. We can see the tip wear on that one that's that's actually very minor wear on that one so not much adjustment there but we still need to increase the lift a touch 
Okay, we're back on the jig. Let's see what it is now. And that one, as you can see, has gone from 353 and she's now 350, 356 and a half. Let's recheck. 357, all right. Again, a nice refaced end, keeping in mind to keep a nice radius on the tip. Rocker number three. And the other thing to worth noting here is all the rockers that I do, they're all set up on the same position so each one gives, um, you know, within three thou of each other is what I set them up to be. So if you put them on your engine and you've got different valve heights and different rocker post heights and uh, different valve lengths, then that's going to affect possibly the lift that you get. So if you want to optimize your geometry and make sure where everything's right, you need to go through and make sure uh, that everything, all your valve heights are right, all your rocker heights are uh, correct, uh, to optimize the geometry. In this case, I've set this up to be, to work as close as I can to a standard head. So this is a standard 1275 type cylinder head uh, with standard posts, so that these rockers um, at least give you the 1.3 ratio uh, on a standard setup. So, number three on. Recheck that, number three. Right, as you can see, we're only getting three, 348 on that one, so uh, that one's got a little way to go to get to the specification. Let's have a look at the wear on the end. So, yeah, it's got a little bit of wear. It's off to one side on this one, so let's go and reface that and also increase the lift. Right, as you can see, all nicely refaced, no wear. Uh, and let's see if we've uh, increased the uh, lift. So rocker number three, this was 348. Let's see where we are now. And we're now at 354, so a little bit more. See what we do now. And we're at, now we're at 359, so that's the top end of spec. So we've added 11 thousandths of an inch of lift to that rocker by carefully reshaping the tip. Number four. Oh, that's three for uh, three fifty four. That's almost at spec. Without any work. So we just need a slight adjustment to the end of that one take the wear out and uh, just add a few foul to the lift. Let's see what we got now. Three, five, seven, perfect. So you see what we do is we go through every single rocker out of the entire uh, production run and we adjust every single one, then that's how I know that they meet the specification. And obviously, um, that's all done at the same time as refacing the tip. Okay, rocker number five. Oh, 
355. She's almost in spec, straight off the bat, which is which is good. Again, we still need to take the wear off the end, so we'll do that now. All refaced, and let's see what that one looks like. And we got three, five, eight and a half. There we go, with inspec. Right, this is rocker number six of the batch. Now this one's got a lot of wear on the end, so I'm not sure this one's gonna make it through, but let's see what happens. Well, she's giving 352. That's a good start. So hopefully we can save this one by just removing the wear and adding a little bit of lift. Right, let's see what that comes up as now. And that's now coming on top size, 359. So even though it had all that wear, we've managed to machine that wear out and reface that and make that into a perfectly good tip again. So one of the things to remember is when you buy these rockers, um, you're actually uh, you know, buying recycled product. So this was otherwise scrap, uh, has now been um, reworked uh, to be uh, better than it was new with a bush and obviously increased ratio. Okay, rocker number seven. This one's got uh, sort of uh, a little bit of tip wear, but not, nothing too major. See what this one comes up like. Oh, that's interesting. That one's already coming up at uh, about 358 on that one. So that's in spec already. So all we need to do with that is just remove that wear. Okay, so uh, wear removed and let's see what that uh, gives now. Oh, and we're a little bit over. So rather than uh, leave that, that's now 360 thou. I'm just gonna adjust that to bring that into the spec, which is 356 to 359. See what we got now? Ah, perfect. Three, five, seven, five. That is bang on. What a lot of people don't realise with these rockers, or, or any rockers on most engines, but certainly the A series, is it's completely possible to, um, you know, assemble these all to give the same lift and adjust them, you know, to a thousandth of an inch if you really want to. So it's just a matter of how much time and effort that you want to put in. So just because something um, you know gives a certain lift, as you can see here, I'm adjusting uh, the just the tip radius and changing the lift uh, delivered. So you know the important thing to understand here is that uh, that tip radius also determines how fast that va that rocker lifts the valve through the lift curve as well. So just something to bear in mind. Um, it's not just the total lift; it's the it's the the, the whole ball of wax. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm not necessarily sharing all my secrets. Uh, I'm just showing you the basics uh, of what I do on these rockers um, to equalize the lifts. Okay, this is rocker number eight and it's the final rocker of that set. 
So as you can see, again, we've got quite a bit of tip wear and lots of pitting on that one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is the same as I've done with all the rest. Measure what we've got and then adjust. And obviously take the wear out. Right, that's 354 straight off the bat, so it's not bad. This set of rockers has also been pretty good, actually, consistency. I think the lowest is 348, um, so that's not too bad. Uh, sometimes you get a lot worse than that. Okay, again, all refaced. Let's see what it delivers. Oh, just short, just over 355, 355 and a half. So we just need to find at least, well, I'll say about a thou just to get it into the specification. There we go, see what we get now. There we go, 357, done. Now, just to remind ourselves of where we've come from, You've just seen me go through eight rockers. This is an old rocker and an original rocker that's not been touched. So next, I'm gonna put that up and then you can see that how that performs. Okay, so there we are. That's the rough standard looking rocker complete with some tip wear. That would be representative of the sort of thing that most people take off engines and then put straight back on again. Um, you know when they're trying to do some sort of uh, rebuild or they're um, you know e e even trying to get you know to improve the performance and they, they you know completely forget the idea of uh, looking at the rockers so watch the dull gauge now so we set this up in the same way And you can see on this one, rather than being round here, we're all the way back up there. So that one's only delivering 322 thou on this jig. So as you can see, the, the uh, 1.3 offset bush ones are delivering uh, more than 30 thou extra lift on the same camshaft um, that I'm using in this engine. And the camshaft I'm using in this engine is only a standard factory lift. So um, my point is, you know there is there is performance to be had by by modification and optimization okay so with those eight rockers done you can see they're all refaced and they're all given uh, within three thousandths of uh, an inch lift of each other so uh, you also seen how I go through and um, optimize them um, so obviously that was only eight rockers uh, well I've got ten sets here so I need to pull my finger out and go through 80 anyway Hope you like the video, um, please like and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon.